So let's grab our blanket. And I want to just do a nice flat kind of fold of our blanket. So we're not going to roll it any specific way. But for me, my blanket starts maybe an inch and a half wide, kind of like this. And long ways, I'm just going to fold it one more time so that we've got maybe a couple of inches thickness here. And then this is going to go under our thoracic spine or support our shoulder blades to lay down. And I like to have my block or that extra blanket as a pillow of sorts for the head. So getting yourself set up with just a maybe six inches wide, couple inches thick blanket for under your shoulders. And then just go ahead and lay down. Situating that block or extra blanket comfortably under your head, we want the chin to stay parallel with our collarbone so it's not kind of sticking way up in space with the throat open. This will just help to relax the upper back. And see if you can shimmy on your shoulder blanket in such a way that the blanket is, the very top of it is just below your armpits so that your arms can lay out in a T just above your blanket. And then legs can take any shape. I like TP pose, you may choose legs extended. And once you arrive here, discovering that sense of stillness in your body and awareness of your breath. And as we meet ourselves on our mat today, acknowledging any feelings that come with you. Those feelings could be physical, the form of sensation, tension, ease in the body, or perhaps emotional or thoughts. Yoga comes from this root word union. And what we attempt in our yoga practice is to unite our full experience, meeting each part of our current moment with equanimity. So all things being equal. So in this way, we don't prefer the train of thought and go down it, follow it. Nor do we prefer some particular sensation and attach to it, ruminate about it. But we take all of these things into account and our breath and find stillness in the center of it. And start to bring awareness to where your upper back meets your blanket. And breathe consciously into that space. Like you're trying to fill and expand your lungs towards your back body. And your exhales soften skin to muscle, and muscle to bone. Inhaling to expand into your blanket. Exhaling to let it all go.
On your next inhale, pause on full. And really fill up with breath, expanding into your blanket, expand your chest. And through the mouth, let it go. Good, we'll take one more breath just like that. Pausing on full, take another sip. Really fill up and like you're releasing any excess tension that might exist in mind or body, release it through a sigh. Take the next couple of breaths to find any intention. Allowing it to naturally bubble up in your mind. And honoring whatever intention has come up, honoring our bodies and each other will begin with namaste. Namaste. Good. Reach your fingers out to the sides. Big stretch from the center of your chest all the way out through fingers. Big breath in. And full exhale. And it's kind of negotiating your space around you. See if you can start to trace like snow angels on the floor. So reaching all the way up and then maybe down toward your sides. Your elbows might come over your blanket, but see if you can keep your fingers to the floor. Good. Stretching up only as far as the hands can stay to the floor. And then coming all the way back down on your exhale. And we'll do that another full time just like this. And then take an inhale, reach your arms up, bend your elbows. If you have a block, then grab around for either side of your block, kind of like box position overhead. It almost like you're grabbing for your elbows. If you have a blanket, then just grab your blanket crossing at your wrists. Good. If you have your block, then start to pull on the edges of your block. If you have a blanket, then pull the edges of your blanket apart. Take a breath in. As you exhale, release your arms down, big snow angel down. Let's all demonstrate that sitting up so you can just kind of do it. So as you inhale, reach your arms up. If you have a block, then grab for either sides of it. Good. Kind of like your block is overhead and you're reaching for either side of it. If you can find the other side, grab it and pull, like you're separating your elbows wider but holding your hands as they are. Good, we're just looking for a little bit of contraction in our shoulders. Then release and release your arms back down. Good, if you have your block, just remove it, but we'll stay lying on our blanket. Good, interlace your fingers behind the back of your head and rest your head down. Feet can be to the earth for this part. Good. Pressing down with your feet. Take a breath in with your head down. And as you exhale, gently use your hands to lift your chin. Use your core to lift your chest toward your knees. Good. Inhale, relax your head down nice and slow. And exhale to lift. Kind of like a crunch, but don't let the head really effort here. All the effort is, should be in the core. Inhale to come down and exhale to lift. Good, keep going. Option to lift your feet. Shins parallel with the earth as you move. Good, especially if you've lifted your feet, really curl your tailbone and try and flatten your sacrum to the earth. Good. Take two more breaths. And then release feet and head and roll to the right side. Good. Using your left hand to help caress you all the way up. Find your seat. Good. And using your blanket as cushion under the sits bones if you'd like. 
Sufi grind, so big body circles, sweeping chest forward and around, exhaling to round and lean back. Take your time to get there. And as you move, see if you can keep your knees pretty stable. So as we lean to one side, one, one knee might want to lift with us. See if you can keep it down so that the whole movement comes from just above our hips. Good, pause to switch directions, inhaling forward and exhaling back. Good, another 10 seconds or so. If you're feeling warm, you might start to speed it up. Inhale to center, reach your shoulders up towards your ears and then exhale, let them drop. Inhale, shoulders up, exhale to drop. Nice strong breaths, complete exhales. Good, inhale up, shoulders squeeze up and squeeze the muscles of your face, your hands into fists, your glutes, your belly, your arms, your legs, every muscle squeeze it tight and then through your mouth. Uh, you might like to switch the cross of your feet. And we'll do some shoulder and wrist stuff. So reach your left hand out in space about the height of your shoulder, palm is forward. Good, fingers are spread. And roll both shoulders up, back and down so they're nice and even. One isn't hiking higher than the other. Good, then straighten your left arm as much as you can. Just doing that, you might feel some kind of stretch. Somewhere up your arm, maybe into your chest, around the armpit, wrist. If this is enough of a stretch, stay here. Next option, drop right ear to right shoulder like we're leaning our head away from that hand. Deep breaths, again, stay here or flexing at your wrist. Turn your fingers forward and slowly back. Good, kind of like we're waving our hand to the side. Good, nerve flossing. Our nerves are actually tissues in our body. They have carry electrical signals, but they're real tissues and they have connective tissue surrounding them. And they also deserve a little attention and stretch, but sometimes it can feel uncomfortable to access. That's what we're doing here. So if it does feel uncomfortable, you're not alone, but we're not going for pain, numbness, or tingling. So any of that, then come out of it a step. Head can come back to center, arm can relax a little bit. Good, next move is head back to center, pause your hand movement, turn your palm down and reach your hand down a few inches. Good, this might just change the nature of your stretch. You can stay here or again, right ear to right shoulder, roll both shoulders back and down and straighten your left arm. Good, you can stay here or right hand can come over and around towards your left ear. And without pulling at all, just let the weight of your right elbow kind of sink, perhaps increasing that stretch just a tad. One more big breath. Releasing any hand placement, head to center. Release that arm, shake it out, and then reach it all the way across your body. 
Good, different kind of stretch. Bring your right hand or maybe your forearm to your opposite forearm, left forearm, and then pull toward your body. Good, so we're just hooking that left arm with our right elbow and just pulling gently. Again, dropping shoulders, sitting up nice and tall. Deep breaths in and full exhales. When you're ready, release. Roll your shoulders out a couple of times. And while you're doing this, you might check in left to right. How do your shoulders feel? How does your neck feel? Pausing your movement, checking in in stillness. Just noticing from right to left, anywhere along your right arm versus your left arm. And then right arm out in space. Palm is forward. Start at about the height of your shoulder. Shoulders back and down. Straighten your arms. Stay here and breathe. Or left ear to left shoulder, nice and slow. Just approach your stretch. Kind of like we're softly touching the edge of our sensation level. Good, so we're not using the hand yet here, opposite hand to stretch. Here, we're gonna wag your right hand back and forth. Good, just an option. If it creates too much sensation, like we are forgetting to breathe, or the breath has gotten short or shallow. Then come out of it one step and breathe a little deeper. Just that might increase sensation, deepening breath. Good, we'll start with head back to center, pause your movement, palm down, reach your fingers down a few inches, your arms at a diagonal. Again, check in with your shoulders, straighten your arm, and maybe left ear to left shoulder. Just changing the fibers of muscles that we're stretching. If you would like to, you could add your hand on the opposite side of your head, and without pulling at all, like we're not using effort, we're like softening the left arm and shoulder so much that there's just this little bit of weight on the head with the left hand. One more breath. Releasing your hand, head to center, shake that right hand out. And as you're doing that, reach it across your body. Nice straight arm hooking with your opposite forearm, gently pull back toward you. <laughs> Big breaths in and full exhales. Release that. Roll your shoulders up, back and down a few times. And notice again, left to right. Do they feel a little more even now? And last thing in seated, a little bit more energetic. Bend your elbows and place your hands next to you, kind of like you're holding something. And then curl your fingers in like you're really gripping onto maybe two tennis balls, one in each hand. Good, shoulders are back and down. This will be our inhale. As you exhale, cross your wrists overhead. Keep that curl of the fingers. Inhale, elbows down. Exhale, opposite wrist crosses overhead. See if you can kind of create that dance. Inhale down, exhale up. Go at your pace, but make it strong. On your exhale, squeeze your belly back. Keep going. Keep the movement, last 15 seconds, dog breath. We're panting through the mouth, soft tongue. <sighs> Good, 
Inhale, arms up, separate the hands like a little halo over your head. Shoulders down, but reach the crown of your head up. Pause the breath. And exhale, release your hands. If a lot of breathing like that kind of makes one dizzy, just take your time. We'll transition to tabletop. Taking a few moments whenever you arrive to straighten one leg and then the other. Toes could stay on the earth or lift for a little bit more work. And just switch sides, straightening one leg behind you and then switch. Then pause your movement, inhale, drop your belly. Exhale, round your back, cat cow. We have about 30 more seconds of time here. You could explore moving a little quicker with your breath or any other movements like hip circles or combinations that feel good. Whenever you're ready, downward facing dog. Once you arrive, pedaling out the feet, deeply bend the knee and then switch sides. And moving like you're moving in slow motion, one mile per hour. And keep this movement of deeply bending a knee and switching sides and allow that to walk you forward. Again, slow motion. How many little baby steps could you take? One, both knees can remain a little bent, especially as you get closer to your hands and come onto fingertips. And then find your standing forward fold. You can take ragdoll or any comfortable position with arms but completely relax your torso over your thighs. Start to shake your head no and nod your head yes. Flutter through the lips if that feels good. One of my teachers calls that horse lips. And on your next exhale, release your arms and Squeeze your belly back to roll up to standing. Yeah, beautiful. Once you're there, then bring your arms up high. Reach your arms up. And on an exhale, stand up tall, reach your pinkies back behind you. Good. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, pinkies back, straight arms. Chest is very lifted. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, pinkies back, option chair pose at this point, kind of like skiing. Inhale, reach up, stand up. Exhale, pinkies back, maybe chair. Beautiful, keep moving. Our next option is when you stand up, lift a knee really high. Ooh, a little balancing pose. And then exhale, chair pose, both feet down. Good, if you've lifted a leg, switch sides next time you stand. 
and just explore this movement. Go at your pace, it could be faster or slower than me. Take three more rounds of breath with your movement, wherever you are. Good, next time you inhale, both feet down, reach both arms up, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. I like hands to shins to push shins away. Exhale to fold. And we'll do that a couple more times. Inhale, half lift. Spine is long, chest reaching forward. Exhale to fold. One more time. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. And then bend your knees to plant your hands. You can come on fingertips. Left leg slides back, knee down. So in our, in our low lunge with the right foot forward, bring your right hand on your right thigh. Good, sitting up tall, chest is lifted. Press your back toes down pretty powerfully and your front heel down really powerfully. Feel that light up the hips and glutes. Good, we're gonna move our left hand in space. Palm faces forward, shoulders are back. Inhale to sweep your left arm in front of you and up. All the way so bicep comes next to your ear. Notice where you kind of get stuck and then flip your palm to the left and around. Good, and then continue your circle. Maybe the back of your hand touches the thigh. Good, we're gonna do opposite direction. Palm reaches back, straight arm. See where you just need to start to turn your hand. Continue your circle nice and big, sweeping arm forward and down. Good, sweep arm up and forward, palm up. Wherever you get stuck, turn your palm and reach back. Maybe back of your hand touches thigh and then reach palm back. Wherever you need to, twist the palm to continue your circle. And one more time, reach forward and up. Exhale, back and down. And back and up. Exhale, forward and down. Good, this time both arms up. Inhale. Exhale, lean your chest forward, pinkies back, just like we were doing. Beautiful, we'll continue that movement. Inhale, shoulders over hips, arms reach. Exhale, pitch your chest forward, pinkies back. Nice, continue your movement. And this could feel like plenty. There's lots of work going on in the front leg when we lean forward. Last three times, option as you inhale to lift your back knee. And then stay here for the exhale, high lunge, pinkies back. Two more breaths. Good, next time you inhale, reach up. If back knee is lifted, lower it slowly. And both hands frame your front foot. Slide your right foot to meet your left. And then extend your right leg behind you. Toes can stay to the mat for now. Draw your bottom two ribs away from your mat, almost like a cat back in the upper back and left hand reaches forward. Good, option to lift, left arm, right leg. Good, see if you can lift from the inside of your right thigh. That means that your right pinky toe starts to, starts to turn down and the inner right heel kind of spins up. Two more breaths.
On an exhale, left hand down, right knee down, and inhale, cow pose. Exhale, curl for cat. Two more breaths. And if you need a rest, child's pose next. If not, downward facing dog for a little more energy. And five to seven breaths of time for organic movement. So for you, that could be a traditional vinyasa. It could be some exploratory movement in hips or legs or rest. Good, we'll meet in downward facing dog if we're not there already. And again, deeply bend one knee, straighten the other leg, and then switch sides. Good, start to do this as you walk forward towards your hands one mile per hour. How slow can you go? How many baby steps to get your feet towards your hands? Good, once you get there, standing forward fold. Take your time, we're not going anywhere, you can't meet us. On an inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold, and then flat back, root to rise, bent knees to reach up. And exhale, hands to your heart, take a breath. Good, let's inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive folds you forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, folds. Bend your knees deeply, take an inhale. And exhale, right foot slides back, knee down. Good, so same thing on this side. Right hand to your right thigh for a little stability. Press your feet down powerfully. Roll your shoulders up and back, chest is proud. Right hand palm faces forward and we'll move that arm. Good, so as you inhale, sweep that left, right hand forward and up. At the top where you kind of get stuck, turn your palm back toward the wall behind you and continue to finish that circle. Maybe the back of your hand touches your thigh. Opposite direction, reach back and up. Twist as you come forward and hand forward and down, exhale. Inhale forward and up. Take your time with this. Exhale to reach back and down. Good, opposite direction, big circle. One more full, complete round. And try and keep the ribs from moving one direction or the other. And whenever the next time your hand comes forward and down, inhale to reach both arms up. Good, skiing, exhale, chest forward, pinkies back. Good, inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, lean forward, arms back. Let's do at least one more with the knee down if we're taking next variation. And then the last three breaths, option to lift your back knee, high lunge. Beautiful, inhale, reach up. If the knee is lifted, exhale to lower it and hands frame your front foot. Tabletop foot pose, slide your left knee back and then straighten your left leg behind you. Good, first thing is that a lot of times our belly has dropped and we're popping out our booty banana back here. So draw the ribs away from the mat, feel your core engage. Good, then extend your right arm and left leg lifts. Good, with your left hand and right knee, push the earth away from you. 
drop your shoulders down and lift through the inside of your left thigh. One more breath. And hands down, knees down, inhale, cow pose. And exhale for cat. Two more breaths. Good, on your next inhale, neutral spine. And walk your knees behind your hips a couple of inches. Exhale completely. And then inhale, pitch your chest forward towards your nails. Bend your elbows as you exhale, hug your elbows in, squeeze your inner thighs together and lower down chest and chin. Good, slide onto your belly, remove any blankets that might be underneath you and relax your head down. And cobra with our hands a little wider than normal. So hands are at the level of the lower ribs, but bring them to the outsides of your mat and tent your fingertips. Good, forehead can be down. I'm just lifting so that you can hear me. We wanna draw our shoulder blades toward each other. And almost like we're trying to lift our elbows up toward the ceiling, feel that engagement in the upper back. Press the tops of your feet down and reach your toes away from your body. Good, on an inhale, shoulders up and back to lift your chest, elbows up toward the ceiling, maybe your fingers hover, and exhale to lower. Five times total, inhale to lift, reach your toes back, exhale to lower. Good, get that pinky toe grounded and take a couple more rounds. On your next exhale, release your effort. Hands can come next to your ribs once again. Curl your toes under, take an inhale. As you exhale, push the ground away from you. Try to lift chest and hips at the same time. Come to tabletop pose, and then child's pose or down dog. Good, from down dog, any optional movements, five to seven breaths to explore. From child's pose, resting at your forehead, letting the weight of your head sink to the earth. From wherever you are, two more breaths. Good, we'll meet in a standing forward fold. If you'd like to slow walk there, just like we've been doing, feel free or any transition that makes sense, feels good. Beautiful, once you're there, halfway lift and bring your left hand fingertips underneath your face. Good, bend deeply into your left knee, right hand to right hip. Good, roll both shoulders back. We'll come into a twist here. Option to extend your right arm overhead towards ceiling. Good, draw the back of your ears behind you slightly. Chin is down. Good, maybe eventually that left knee straightens a little bit more. And on an exhale, both hands come down opposite side. Right hand under your face on the mat, bend your right knee. Left hand to left hip, roll both shoulders back and peel that left shoulder open. Good. Option to stack the shoulders and straighten your right or left arm up. Big breaths in, full exhales. 
both hands hit the mat, little bend in the knees. Take an inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to hips and root to rise, elbows back to lead you to stand. Beautiful. Take an inhale and exhale. Good, let's bring our hands together. Good, start with the feet comfortably underneath you, view maybe a little bit closer together than normal. Tree pose, little bend in your knees and lift your right foot. Maybe the toes just turn out and heel hits the ankle. Maybe you lift that foot to inner calf or inner thigh. Okay, whatever works for you today, push your foot into your standing leg and vice versa. A lot of stability between our legs. Good, fixing your gaze on one unmoving point. Next option would be to float arms up overhead in a Y shape. Beautiful, three more breaths to play. If you're coming in and out of the pose, that is the pose. First shift would be hands back to heart center and then release your foot and shake out both feet. And then same leg here. So right knee, we're going to just trace big circles out in space with that right knee. So it's still like a balancing pose, right? But we're now we're moving the leg. Keep a micro bend in your left leg for stability and then go the other direction with your circles. Good, spread the toes on both feet. Beautiful, release. Gonna sway your hips side to side. Like you're doing the hokey pokey. Good, hands to heart, opposite side for our tree first. Micro bend in both knees and left foot can lift to any comfortable level today. You're pushing your foot into your standing leg, standing leg back into your foot. If you've got a wall or a couch nearby, you're welcome to just grab that for a little more stability. If you're taking it further, arms might start to float up. Fixing your gaze, even inhales and exhales. Got beautiful poses, everyone. Two more breaths. Even if I can't see you, I know it's beautiful. Releasing hands back to center first. Release your foot and shake out both ankles. Good. Little bend in both knees, left knee, big circles in space. Spreading toes on both feet, micro bend that standing leg. And then switch directions one mile per hour. Beautiful, both feet down, do the hokey pokey. Good, turn yourself around. Cause that's what it's all about. Okay, top of your mat, inhale, sweep your arms up. And then exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, and we'll come right back up. Inhale, sweep arms up, big, big breaths. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold one more time. Inhale, reach up. Little back bend, exhale to fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands and step back to down dog. Beautiful, big breath in, 
and full exhale. Inhale for plank pose. Good, option to lower your knees. Exhale here and pause. Press the earth away from your toes and hands. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, lower your knees, untuck your toes and sit back for child's pose. Beautiful, big breaths. Let's find our side stretch. So gaze between your hands, tent your fingers, lifting elbows off the earth. Push the earth away from you to ground hips toward heels. Keep that connection and walk your hands to the right. Good. Again, once you find your stretch on the left side body from ribs to armpit, push the earth away from you, ground hips back toward heels, and then relax your head. Good. Notice if your right rib cage has kind of lowered and tucked under the thigh, then lift your right rib cage as high as your left. Walk hands through center and all the way to the left. Once again, find that stretch and then push the earth away, ground your hips and sink your head. Left rib cage as high as the right. And deep breaths into right armpit, right ribs. And on an exhale, walk your hands back through center. And we'll come to our seat. So hips might come to one side of our feet and then swing your legs forward. You can grab your blanket to sit up on if you'd like. and extending our legs out in front of us. Separate the feet just a little bit and point your toes, flex your feet. Alternate that. And then roll your toes around a big circle. Get changing directions. And then find stillness with flexed, engaged feet. Inhale to reach your arms up. And exhale, just like we did before with skier, pinkies back, straight arms, chest forward. Tuck your chin slightly and roll your shoulders back. Reach your pinkies back as far as you can while trying to reach your chest towards your big toes. Big breaths in, full exhale. And then keep your chest where it is and reach your arms forward in space. Let them rest out in front of you, maybe touch the shins. And allow your back to round and curl if that feels good. Just release effort. You can even release your toes. Release your leg muscles and your head. Feeling breath expand your upper back. Letting the exhales get a little longer than the inhales.
We'll transition back up. I like to bring a hand to my forehead. And create a gentle pressure there to help the head back upright. Release anything you're sitting on. Bring your hips to about the center of your mat. And hands behind you, feet wide, windshield wiper your knees. Again, one mile per hour. We'll keep the movement in your knees, come onto your elbows. And keep the movement, come onto your back. Pause your movements, bring your knees into your chest, and then rock side to side. And let your head float with you. Beautiful. Good. Let's do one last kind of energetic thing. A couple twists before we relax as well. Extend your legs up toward the ceiling. Yeah, they don't have to be perfectly straight in any way, but flex your feet and squeeze your inner thighs toward each other. Beautiful. If this is a lot of effort and energy, then stay right here just to work. Our next action, imagine that there's a rope that goes from about your belly button all the way to the ceiling, one straight line. And then hand over hand, start to climb that rope. Peel the shoulders off the earth as you reach. And if it's comfortable for your neck, maybe lift your head and chest as you reach up that rope even higher, climbing even higher. Good, see if you can even peel the back ribs up off the earth for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release, bring your knees into your chest, and allow your knees to fall to the right. Good, relaxing in your twist. Letting arms be heavy. And breath be deep. Take a deep inhale. Pause on full and sigh it out. Knees to center, bring them into your chest to start and then rock to the left. Good, once you found your twist, you might release all your effort. Deep inhale, filling all the way up. Pause and sigh it out. Knees to center and take your time to find your relaxation pose. Make yourself comfortable and settle in. Inviting rest, effortless breath.
conscious relaxation. I'll call you back in a few minutes. Welcome to stay here as long as you like. To transition deep in your breath. Wiggle toes and fingers. Run your tongue along the fronts of your teeth, top and bottom, both directions. And let your breath grow into the great stretch. And exhale it to knees and chest. You're rocking side to side to massage your spine. Rolling to your favorite side for a full deep breath. And then rise up to your seat at your own pace. And bring your hands to your heart. Taking a couple breaths in and out of this space, the center of the chest. In awe and gratitude of everything that you're capable of, of your capacity to truly go with the flow. I appreciate each and every one of you. I thank you for taking this journey with me. And I'm so glad that it gets to continue in some way. Namaste.